Traffic now back to normal after crews and police spent most of the day clearing the scene of a deadly crash on I-40. The eastbound lanes were reopened a little more than 10 minutes ago. One person died and several more were hurt in a horrific series of events that had emergency crews rushing to the scene to put out a fire and get victims to safety. CBS 17 Steve Sprasha joins us live with more on how that wreck and the cleanup impacted traffic all day long. Steve. Well, guys, from where I stand, the eastbound traffic is flowing in that direction. And take a look at it. You can see that it's moving once again. After nearly five and a half hours, the road finally reopened. This road is a major artery through Raleigh, as many folks know. And its shutdown caused a commuter nightmare. Just before noon, a series of accidents happened on eastbound I-40. The first, a woman was critically injured when she stepped out of her vehicle following a collision. She was hit by a truck. And then a second truck carrying used oil filters overturned. It burst into flames, killing the driver. Accident reconstruction and cleanup crews closed the highway for hours as they tried to work the scene, cleaning up the oil and removing all the debris. Commuters and Wake County school buses were part of the interstate. They use it all the time, and they had to detour around the scene because Wake County buses are on a tiered system where high school, middle school, and elementary school all share the same buses. Any buses that use the eastbound portion of this highway had to find alternate routes. That caused delays, which literally dominoed throughout the, enti dominoed throughout the entire system. And as a result, all of Wake County felt the impact of this accident, which happened right here. Wake County school officials sent out an advisory to parents earlier this afternoon, advising them that a lot of students might be late as a result of the delays, delays that happen on this section of highway, which is once again reopened. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS 17 News. All right, Steve, thank you.